Hi, Ingrid and Lorna. Um, so you've got your new sketch show coming up soon. Um, what can you tell us all about it? Well, um, yes, it's, it's a, new, a new sketch show for BBC Two um, that is our, it's our double act, Watson and Oliver, and that's what it's called. Watson and Lorna. Yeah. Easy to remember, simple, you yeah. see. Keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it should be coming out very soon. And um, it's, yeah, it's lots of sketches and characters, as well as sort of live stuff in, in front of a studio audience. What sketch shows was it that you watched growing up when you started off doing comedy together that really kind of, you know, you were into? Mm. I reckon growing up, um, I, I think we both watched the classics, so Two Ronnies, Morecambe and Wise, that kind of thing, Victoria Wood, um, Laurie. Brian Laurie. Um, I remember in our teen years, things like Mary Whitehouse experience was very, I remember that being really popular at the time, you had to watch it. Um, a, a lot of sketch comedy though, mm. I, I really enjoyed uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway as well, <laughs> I used to watch that quite oh, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Or After Henry. Pro. With Prunella Scales, I love that. But uh, two point four children. Uh, yeah, a, a I think it's fair to say a real mix yeah. of comedy, though. And I think we're not very snobby about, as in we we pretty much like everything. If it's funny, anything. it's funny. Don't, yeah. you, don't you know? Don't sort of stick to one particular style. You know, I might like watching something surreal one day and then observational the next. And you know, I think that is reflected in our show as well because our influences are very varied. So. I, I think there's a combination of different types of comedy in our show. Do you think there's a lot of snobbery in comedy? I mean, oh, yeah. and yeah. do you see yourself on a sort of one side of that divide and, or anything? Um, it's weird. I think there's, there's almost, a, a, I think, a perception that if you appeal to a lot of people that you're somehow not... Cool. Cool, maybe. And I don't think we, that's fine because we never thought we were cool. And, um, no, I, oh. <laughs> Oh. Um, but I mean, we don't, you know, I, we haven't suffered at the hands. I don't think anyone, not to our faces anyway, behind <laughs> our backs is another thing. Yeah. We hate us. But um, yeah, we I, we certainly don't have it towards other people. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But I think it does. Yeah, that probably exists a lot. Hmm. Um, you guys have been sort of hotly tipped for a long, long time now. Um, I think it was sure. an observer <laughs> sort of had you there sort of about a year and a half or so ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how has that felt? Has that given you more pressure to, to kind of really, yeah. really sort of nail it on this first show? Because a lot of sketch shows, a lot of shows, comedy in general, sometimes takes a little while to bed in. But mm. do you feel that you might not have that time because of the, the hype and the pressure? It's, um, I mean, it's, we look, you know, we, we were looking back at old... Um, first and second series of Fry and Laurie and French and Saunders sort of leading up to doing our show and what's interesting is that they were given I mean they, they have, they've had a lot of they had a lot of space it seemed to experiment and find their voices and I think we have worked very hard we did this is why it's, it's taken about two years from conception to sort of making because we we went we tried to get make all our mistakes before we came to filming it so we mm. sorted out what it was that we were trying to do and I feel like the show that we've come up with is, is is what we wanted to do, and so therefore, um, I don't think it's pressure necessarily. It just we wanted to get it right first time, yeah. Which is is quite difficult sometimes. I've read that you've got John Barrowman guesting on the show, and uh, he's a uh, he's a sort of you know big presence with Digital Spy, and uh, is he? Our, our ex editor was a very big fan of, uh, of John Barrowman. Who, so. who isn't? What? Who isn't? Why exactly. wouldn't you be? The so, Barrowman yeah. is something else. I mean, we he, yes. I mean, Did, yeah. is he? Um, being himself on the show, is he playing a character? Is anything you can tell us, sort of tease us about what he'll be doing? Tease there? you. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Well, no, he's playing himself on the show. I mean, there's, yeah. that's no secret. He's um, he we wrote a song for him to sing at the end in a in a big finale number, and he was really game to his credit. He sort of you know it, it's quite um, it's quite a it's quite on the nose. It's quite a sort of yeah. we weren't sure that he would he would do it, and he did it without did he didn't want to change a single word. Didn't change a line. Yeah. No, he was he's amazing. I mean, he's amazing. He walks into that. the room and you, you, you just sort of can't take your eyes off him. He's very charismatic, lovely guy, brilliant sense of humour as well. He's fit as well. He's fit. Yeah. He's fit. He's, fit. he's got it. <laughs>